Yo, hey, what is up, my beautiful people? So many of you guys know that I lived in Japan for, you know, about two years, like what, one year and a half, two years. And while I was living there, there was some things I didn't like. You know, I loved everything about it, but there were some things that I didn't like and some things that I found kind of annoying. And this video is just gonna be me telling you three things that I didn't like while living in Japan. So the first one is one I already mentioned before. It is one that you guys probably already heard about, but it is pretty much the lack of trash cans you know that doesn't sound so bad right lack of trash cans what's the big deal well this is the big deal so pretty much imagine yourself you go downtown you buy a coffee a starbucks or whatever you're walking around downtown you finish your starbucks and you have the cup you know the plastic cup and you're like right now i gotta throw this away where are you gonna throw it away good question so you're at, you go to the park you walk around the park there is no trash cans at the park you go downtown there is no trash cans downtown along the sidewalks so where do you go you go to the mall where are the trash cans non-existence all right bruh i got this plastic cup where am i gonna throw this away you're walking around no trash cans anywhere to be seen huge inconvenience especially when you don't want to be carrying this cup around right but i learned really quick that you gotta throw the trash at like designated trash hotspots where are those they are at convenience stores convenience so you gotta go to like a 7-eleven go into the 7-eleven and just throw it at the 7-eleven's trash can please you know all the 7-elevens over there all the convenience stores like the little gas stations whatever you want to call them they all have trash cans you know they have like uh, five trash cans for recycling like throw your plastic here throw your burnables here blah 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 so you just go to a convenience store and throw your trash there and that is why it's called a convenience store because you know it's convenient it has trash spots and has like little things you need. Lack of trash cans, really annoying, and it's something that you have to get used to. And yeah, I got I learned that really quick. And if you can't find a trash can, you just gotta put it in your pocket or put it in your bag until you find a spot. But you know that's how it is. That's how it is. All right, number two thing that I didn't like about living in Japan is the food. The lack of American food, to be specific. Now I love Japanese food. Like don't get me wrong, I love Japanese food, and I loved eating the food over there. You know, I liked eating like the sushi, the ramen, the gyudon. You know, I love eating all. The Japanese food. Their food is amazing, but I'm saying the lack of American food or like American type food. For example, steak, hamburgers, pizza, that kind of stuff. That unhealthy American food. After like eating healthy, eating sushi like every day, ramen, you know, living in Japan, it's kind of like once in a while I get a craving, you know, like I want like a fat American hamburger, or, like a, a steak or like a whole pizza to myself. Or even like Mexican tacos, like I want some legit Mexican tacos. Well, man, good luck finding that in Japan. Now, if you want like a pizza in Japan, like like, yeah, you can find it, but like you go to the store and you buy like a um, one of those pizzas that you like uh, put in like your little oven. It's like very thin, kind of like a tortilla, like paper thin pizza with like no flavor at all, kind of like cardboard. And it's kind of expensive. And it's kind of like, you know, it's not worth buying like that cheap pizza. Now, if you order from like a Pizza Hut in Japan, they do have Pizza Huts. But if you order a pizza from Pizza Hut, you're going to be paying like 20 or 30 bucks for like one medium sized pizza. It's really freaking expensive. So it's kind of like, all right, do I really want pizza? Like, yeah, I want pizza. Up, but I'm, am I willing to pay 20 30 bucks for like a medium size yeah how about no how about I just go get some sushi you know get like a uh, three pieces of sushi for one dollar you know get a big stack of plates of sushi and end up paying like five bucks for like the whole meal of sushi yeah I'd rather do that instead of pay like 20 30 bucks for a pizza you know what I'm saying so I mean you can find like pizza but it's gonna be really expensive and tacos good luck finding like Mexican tacos man those are like non-existent they're impossible to find and steak yeah you can find steak but steak is really expensive as well and unhealthy treats like little um like twinkies you know like the little hostess treats like they do have those like grocery stores but those are also expensive like one time i bought like a box of like the hostess treats like in japan like the little um the little cakes and it, it cost me like 12 bucks for the box and it was like 12 dollars but i'm like you know what i'm craving unhealthy food throw down the 12 dollars and yeah i took this little box home and it only had like eight little cakes and when i opened it they were like cute little cakes like this i'm like what the heck is this like i could eat that in one bite so i ate it in one bite i ate another one in one bite and i was pretty much done with half the box and like you know it was like four bites you know for the little cakes and it only came with like eight cakes and it was really expensive and it's like damn dude so pretty much moral of the story is if you want to eat unhealthy in japan it's gonna be really fucking expensive man if you want to eat healthy like salads rice sushi raw fish it's gonna be really cheap so you know eating Healthy over there was really cheap and eating unhealthy was very expensive, which is kind of like, it's good. But when you're craving that unhealthy food, that pizza, that steak, you know, you're gonna be paying a lot of money. But overall, you know, like 
while living over there, I did lose a lot of weight. You know, I was trying to eat, I was trying to eat unhealthy, but next thing you know, I was getting skinnier. I was getting a six pack, you know, from doing nothing. It's like, damn dude, really easy to eat healthy over here. Overall, it wasn't that bad, but those moments I did crave that unhealthy food wasn't gonna happen, man. It wasn't gonna happen unless I was gonna go broke. So there's the second thing. All right, the third thing is one that I had to get used to and it's really bad if you have social anxiety. I mean, I don't have social anxiety, but I do have my moments where it's kind of like I get shy, but usually I'm not shy. Like I don't mind like being open or being loud or whatever, or like talking to people. So the third one, the third one is like when you're at a restaurant and you know, you sit down you get your food, you order your food, you know, you order your drinks or whatever, the waitress, and the waiter they're not gonna come and bother you they're not gonna come and ask you if you want a refill if you want anything else or if you are ready to go if you want your check you know like hey you guys are you guys ready for your check you know they're not gonna bother you like here in America you know they'll ask you like every five minutes you know you'll be eating do you need anything else are you guys good Mm, we're good. Here in America, you know, they, they come every five minutes, you know, asking you, you're good, you're good, you need anything, you need a refill, blah, blah, blah. In Japan, they don't do that. No one's gonna bother you. The waitresses and waitresses are not gonna bother you. So, if you need a refill on something or you want to order something off the menu or you're waiting for your check, you need to get your check, what do you do? Well, that's a good question. Well, recently, Japan started like adopting this way of like calling a waiter or a waitress over to your table and it's pretty much just pressing a button, like having a button at the table, boom, ding dong, and then um, they'll come and serve you, you know, they'll be like, what do you need? That's like a recent thing they started adopting it. It's not at all restaurants. It's probably like at some restaurants, but not all restaurants. So at the restaurants, especially at smaller restaurants where they don't have that button, what do you do? Well, what you have to do is you gotta say sumimasen, which is excuse me, and you gotta yell it at the top of your lungs, top of your voice, man, and hope that they hear you. So, so you're here at a restaurant with all these people, you know, and you want to refill on your water. What do you do? Sumimasen, you know, yell it out, man, yell it out and they'll be like hi and then they'll come to you and help you up it doesn't sound that bad but if you have social anxiety or if you're shy like it's kind of hard to do like all right like i'm really thirsty i need a refill there's all these people you know all these tables surrounding me with people enjoying the meal and i want a water i want to refill my water what i have to do is i gotta say excuse me in a really loud voice raise my hand and get their attention and next thing you know it's like i don't want to yell like how do i yell it out how loud should i yell it should i even yell it am i gonna be disrespectful and bother these nice people enjoying the meal what happens if they don't hear me if they don't hear me i have to yell it again or if they don't hear me i just embarrass myself so what do i do like it's kind of it kind of freaks you out like dude like i don't i don't want to yell to me master like come on like am i really gonna have to like come on give me the button where's the button like can you please help me like hey, i need your help you know but you have to do it dude you have to learn how to do it and when i first arrived in japan i couldn't do it like it was weird because i'm not used to that you know i wasn't used to it and it's just like like i have to yell across the restaurant excuse me like like every single time i want like uh, another beer or anything you know yeah i had to get used to it and when i first arrived in japan i couldn't do it but then eventually i learned i'm like i don't really care anymore man i'm just gonna turn my head be dramatic like Excuse me! You know, like, Seriously? You know, for Japanese people, they're so comfortable doing it. Like, even my shy Japanese friends, like, they, they did it no problem. They'd be like, Seriously? You know, like, no problem. So, like, dude, I'm an outgoing guy. I'm not shy, but I'm too shy to do that, you know? But, like I said, I got used to it. You know, it's something I had to get used to. And I got used to it, like, after a few months. But, yeah, if you're a shy person and you have social anxiety, it's kind of hard to do because, it's like, like, just imagine yourself in the middle of a restaurant and yelling out, excuse me. But don't worry, like I said, Japan is starting to adopt the system where all you have to do is press a button, but that's at bigger restaurants and smaller restaurants is like you still gotta yell it out. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Those are like three things I didn't really like when I first started living in Japan. All of it, I got used to everything eventually, finding like the trash designation spots, I'm getting used to just eating Japanese food and not eating unhealthy, and also getting used to yelling across the restaurant, Sumimasen, I want another beer. And then 10 minutes later after finishing my beer, Sumimasen, give me another beer, you know? <laughs> I'm getting used to that. Just things like that, man. Things that I had to get used to that I didn't really like at first, but I got used to it. And that's what you have to do when you go to another country, adapt to the cultures, adapt to the customs. But yeah, let me know what you think of this video. You know, drop a like, drop a comment, and let me know if you want to see more videos like this. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one, right? Peace out.